Breach versus Fluidity. Chase one, Fluidity evading. Athletes ready! Alex Williams here. He starts by the loading bay and is just waiting for the arrival of Xavi and goes under the mountain, round towards the tilt to Cube and loses his footing. And now the chase is on across court as Xavi looks to hunt him down and he is closing that gap. And I think the tag was made probably hand on hand on one of the rails there. Chase two, breach evading. Zero all. Athletes ready! Can he chase down? Xavi, a man who is kind of known for picking up a number of evasions in a row, and he just sort of pauses and waits and poses, and then Benny Hills around that loading bay, bounces off the mountain, and he's just jogging around right now. No expensive energy at all, as Alex is just tying himself in knots. He was chasing shadows right the way through that, and that little gambit has not paid off. There we go. Like we say, the only reason you really want to put the same player in that has just been tagged to then do the tagging is if you think that player has got the evader's number. But it looks like Xavi just running around the houses. Chase free. Breach evading. 1-0. Breach. Athletes ready! In comes Luke Ashley for fluidity Ooh. and nearly ends up on the floor. It's not a mistake that's fatal at this stage because he's able to recover, but Xavi goes over the mountain and that is a weird old desperation lunge into the middle of the mountain for reasons I don't understand. And Xavi is in danger of picking up the point, which he does with relative ease in the end. Explain what that was about, Connor. Fantastic, look, the thing is, Luke is looking for Xavi to come down on the other side of the mountain. If a player has run up the mountain and jumped that big distance, they probably can't slow themselves down. They're going to keep going, they're going to get to the tilted cube. Chase four, breach of aiding. 2-0, breach. Athletes ready! Big thumbs up, Jake Hurley, who comes in looking to chase down Xavi. Kicked off a European Championship with three evasions. Did World Chase Tag 4 with two? Is he going to go on another little run here? And it's another just sort of little drop of the shoulder and a jog across court. There is no real explosion. He doesn't need it right now, Javi. He's in control. Very, very <laughs> controlled <laughs> stuff from Breach. Yeah, man, you can see, look, not only is he getting the evasions, but he's conserving that energy too. Once you can make that distance, it's all about just, okay, taking the time, makes a little bit of a recharge for the player to make sure his gas tank is full. Chase five, breach of aiding. Three, zero, breach. Athletes ready! Fraser me. Well. He stops, he waits, I'm not sure why. I don't think it was a tactic. If it was, it didn't work. Because Xavi is quite happy to waste that time. And he's wasting even more time as Fraser tries to find a way through the loading bay and can't do it. And this is more just, he may as well be picking up evasions while sat in an armchair right now, Xavi. Not only that, I'm actually seeing, like, tactically, he's using some of the same routes again and again. So we got this right side, loading bay, down to the ridge, back to the loading bay. I think this is part of the game plan. I think Tom Taylor has a big part to play in this. He is the team's coach. Chase six, breach of aiding, 4-0, breach. Cole Quigley with a bit of a hard dukan before he gets going. But they might need something like that to catch Xavi because at the minute they cannot lay a finger on him. That attempt didn't make contact, and now again, we're just into armchair mode for Xavi. He's just strolling around the quad as if there isn't an evader or chaser there. And he's picked up yet another point. This is an annihilation for the Welsh team at the minute. And Cole coming in, big fella, absolute giant, massive reach. You'd think they'd be able to just spike him out past any of these little threadings through the bars, but he cannot make the distance, he can't catch him. And he's back to Alex. Dan, he's got all the way around the whole team. This is a full house. Chase seven, breach of aiding. 5-0, breach. Athletes ready! 
It is a full house and it puts him on five points. One more and he will equal the world record set by Kyle oh. Soderman of the Hollywood Freerunners. And it is on because he just leaned out the way of that one from Alex. Bounces off the rail by the front line. And again, Jeez. we're in armchair mode for Xavier, who is just leaning out the way of things left, right and centre. And he's stood in the back corner as he matches the world record. It is a stupendous six evasion for Xavi. Six evasions and six evasions in a row. You've got to imagine that this player has come on, he's chased, he's caught someone, he's got the opportunity to evade, and then he's done it six times. Chase eight, breach evading, six zero, breach. Athletes ready! He's on a stupendous six. Can he make it a scintillating seven? Is there enough gas in the tank for him to do so? There's a reach through the loading bay. It's not made contact. It's just ethereal from Xavi. You reach out and there's nothing there. It's like trying to catch a ghost in a net. It's not happening. He goes round the sisters and he's done it. It is seven and he cannot be caught. Seven in a row, definitely we've got this clear to find. One of the best players to have ever played World Chase Tag. You're seeing him here on your screen. This is Xavi from Team Breach. <laughs> in all of his glory. Chase nine, breach evading, match point, breach. Athletes ready! Match point, and potentially the most dominating we have ever seen. Xavi is looking to beat this fluidity team on his own. The most points he can get is eight in a row. It's actually mathematically impossible to get any more. And he's already got seven, and he's just sat down by the loading bay and looking good to complete the Grand Slam. He has gone from start to finish and beaten fluidity solo, Connor. Have you ever seen anything like it? Single-handedly, this is a world first. Xavi might be the most important player of World Chase Tag history at this point. And eight in a row isn't just a world record. That is the most you can get. It's only 16 chases. It will never be beaten. Never. That is an astonishing victory for Breach. They haven't just booked their place in the semi-finals. They have destroyed fluidity.